back again with another episode of Roofer Reflections. So I'm really excited. I have uh, Judy online. So Judy, when I look at your profile, I see coffee beans. Um, tell me about that. So coffee has been a passion of mine ever since I was little. Um, I have owned a coffee shop now for seven years. Just I love that coffee is community brings a community together and just the um, Kind of just the warmth that it brings. Is that something you started right away or did you did you work in other roles? So I worked as a manager in a bakery. I have um, actually taught school for a couple years and then worked in sales and furniture and then started my coffee shop. What was your uh, experience starting up a, a coffee shop, which I'm thinking at that point, you've been thinking about it for a few years, right? Because, you know, because of your coffee passion. I just wanted something, again, that would get me into the community and um, I could also just do a lot of good through that and wanted to share my love of coffee to everybody around me. And how does a roofing fit into this picture? I enjoy community and being involved in that and as I got into roofing, I noticed the same things and um, developing business you have to build the relationship with people as well so um, that was my role in getting into roofing was building relationships with people so I feel like that transferred very well from my coffee shop what's what's been a, a highlight so far something something that's been memorable for you you get involved with a lot of different businesses in commercial roofing and just seeing um, the many applications that there are uh, I've learned to know a lot of different people from a lot of different walks of life. What are some tips of things that you know regular people that maybe are not as trained could should know about um, you know managing emergency situations? Um, my number one thing is stay as calm as possible. One of the biggest things that gets you in trouble is when you start freaking out and you lose control of the situation very fast. Don't be afraid to call for help. I actually. Uh, had an experience the other night, somebody called, it was a lift assist, and he felt so bad that he had called us out late at night. And, um, you know, I said, that's what we're here for. Don't ever be afraid to call for help um, when you don't feel like you can handle it or manage it yourself. When people ask you about your experience in the roofing industry, what do you, what do you tell them? It's been a leap for me because I was background in like food and beverage and all of that. But it's it's been a good leap. It's been, it's taught me a lot. I, I tend more toward the marketing side and the meeting people side. So um, just developing my skills with that. And it's always just, always, I always say there's more room for improvement and whatever skills you can learn and take with you, the better.